Hello YouTubers, this is Johnny. Welcome to my Netflix channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to install Zapix 4 into CentOS 7. Um, I'm going to use uh, most of the default settings and the quickest way to do this installation. Um, please keep tuned, I will be back. Um, we are going to use in a dual Linux uh, VM to do this installation. Um, I already created a Linux One CentOS One VM in Microsoft Azure. Um, the public IP 1389155138. Going to create a new SSH username. We already created that. Connect to it, accept. This is the first time to connect to this virtual machine. Um, we're gonna enter into the password. Save the password for future. Perfect. Get in a sudo mode, load account. And so it's going to be easier for our next step installation. Of course, first thing we always need to get the update. It's going to take a while. Um, I'm going to pause here and then once it's done, then we will continue. Okay, we can see the installation for the update is almost done. It's um, 596 update. So it's cleaning up the last one. So it's probably still need a couple minutes, I guess, to get this done. Uh, let's wait. Uh, now it's verifying uh, updates. It is very fast, so we're gonna get done. Okay, let's finish it. Uh, next step, we need to install EPL source. That shouldn't take long. Great. Um, now we're gonna install the wget. We need to install PHP. We need to install MariaDB. Okay, install MariaDB and also those dependency is completed. Next step, we're gonna Configure that fix 4.0 source We're using now official image here. Okay, and um, now it's real installation coming. All those commands I'm gonna post it uh, in the video description. It will be in one of my uh, blog post so you should be able to find it from there and uh, just copy paste in okay perfect looks like um, it's completed the installation uh, now we're going to start uh, MariaDB. We also need to configure them MariaDB as well.
So just press enter, you cannot get into a running a DB and uh, we cannot create a database. Call this OK, you need to grant uh, permission, privilege to this database. Next step is to import the Zapix database, the database into the MySQL. Using this command, it's the password we just entered. That's the password we're using in previous command. Okay, complete it. There's no output to show you uh, it's successful or not, but uh, we're assuming it, it's working. Now we can uh, configure the uh, Zapix server. Um, there's a couple things we need to check. It's a DB database host, DB host. So DB host equal local host DB name equal Zabbix, which we created in previous we have that. We need to db user again. now, db user equal Zabbix, okay, and then we need to db password. Zabbix db password. Qualify it again, close parameters. We need to make sure they are correct. DB name, DB host, DB user, and DB password. Perfect. If there's any problem here, then you will find out later. But you won't be able to see uh, port and but you only can see the process. And the final thing we need to change the time zone here, date time zone, search. No, it's here, date time zone equal and quit. Final step, we need to start all those services. So we installed all kinds of service, PHP, MariaDB, Zabbix, server, Zabbix agent, but we need to start them. So I'm gonna copy and paste in. System CTL start PM and enable it. Enable HTTP. Great. 
and then start http t create enable tab fix server create and start Agent start agent now we can use the public IP or VPS public IP for slash Jpx to visit it but before that we need to make sure how virtual machine open that port Okay, I just verified the uh, connection is there. The firewall has an open the security group has opened the port for our Zapix HTTP port is has been opened, so we can verify from resource group. Um, we have security group here allow the port eighty. So basically, we can do HTTP with Zapix. So from now on, it's just using the web grid to do the final configurations. There's a couple of things we need to go through. So everything looks OK, OK, OK. So perfect meet the prerequisite requirements, basically, OK. Uh, now we need to set up a password fix <coughs> db password uh, database port we can keep it um, default it's a local local yeah perfect uh, we don't need to save it not now um, Yeah, we can just directly go to the next step. And we seeing this is pre installing summary conversion. We have success installed that because front end. Beautiful. So I mean default password, Zapix. Admin Zapix. Uh, it has to be capital A. Remember that it's capital A, not small a here. So here it is. Here is our Zapix server. It's um it's up and running. So basically, we can get it up and running in twenty minutes. Yeah, maybe fifty minutes if you get a uh, your yum update that uh, run first. And other steps will be very straightforward. So this is my video. I hope you like it. If you want to see all the commands I was using, please go to the description. You will find my post there.